Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show. It's your boy Charlie Bahama, and I am here with David from the Bahamas National Trust. And we are here in Abaco, Marsh Harbor, and actually this is Little Harbor right down here, right? Correct. And, and it's right next to Pete's Pub where I started the show because, you know, whenever I drop into Abaco, I got to go to Pete's Pub first. But, David, so tell me a bit about what the Bahamas National Trust does here in Abaco. It does amazing stuff throughout all the out islands in Nassau. But tell us what, what you've been doing here and, and some of the, you know, important places to preserve here. Well, as you know, the Bahamas National Trust of 32 national parks throughout the Bahamas, six of which are here in Abaco. Uh, we have uh, Walker's Key. National Park in the north, beautiful marine park. Um, we have the uh, Black Sound Key uh, National Reserve, which is on Green Turtle Key. It's a, a small little, little, little island uh, surrounded by some significant mangroves. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the Fowl Keys National Park. Again, beautiful reef, one of the best dive sites in, in the Abacos. And we have the uh, Pelican Keys Land and Sea Park the best snorkel uh, site throughout the Abacos, and I dare say, from what I understand, in the Bahamas. Uh -oh. But that, they be challenged on that. Um, and then we have Tuluki Reserve, which is a nesting site for white-tailed tropic birds. And that was a pretty interesting site because it was being developed by, uh, well, the developer, uh, as he was developing the property, you know, uh, to, to sell real estate, he realized that these these birds, these, 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 these uh, uh, shorebirds, was, was nesting um, on the rocky shoreline. And uh, so he wanted to protect the area. And so he donated the property to the Bahamas National Trust for us to manage. Mm, uh, very good. I'm happy to hear that. And then we have the uh, Premier Park here, which is the Abaco National Park, which is the breeding site for the um, uh, ground nesting uh, parrot. Um, you know, it's the only parrot in the world that breeds in holes in the ground. And uh, at one point we thought the parrot was, 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 was crazy um, <laughs> because its cousin, Nan in Inagua, you know, breeds in trees. But we later found that they, because the, the, the area that they breed in is predominantly pine forest, that they breed in these holes because the wildfires, and we had some, you know, the U.S. Forestry Services, you know, assisted us in putting, getting all these cool equipment, you know, to uh, put inside the holes, you know, in the trees, and so we could determine the level of temperature as a wildfire goes through, you know, and uh, we found that, you know, when, when a fire went through, that the, the heat and the temperature, I mean, the temperature in the holes uh, never changed. So the birds are safer in the holes during a wildfire, mm. uh, during the breeding season. So they're actually smarter than humans. Ah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say smarter than humans, but they definitely well, you know, probably smarter, smarter than, than me. Smarter than <laughs> yeah. me. I, I, I have That's a bird. Right. I love birds, and mine is smarter than me. So okay. not all humans, all right. just Charlie. <laughs> but but we realized that this bird is much smarter than we thought, and so um, yeah. Uh, the problem was was that you know it was um, uh, vulnerable to predation, and so we had a uh, we had a had a problem with feral cats uh, uh, when the park was first created in 1994. Um, we had the numbers were basically around 1,500. Uh, since then, uh, we've implemented a, a robust uh, program, uh, a predator control program, and we're now up to over 10,000 birds. Mm. So, you know, th that's what management does yeah. um, for these species. You know, yeah. we try to make sure that the population, you know, those uh, the threat in particular, you know, that we manage, you know, uh, for that, whatever those, 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 those uh, threats are. Right. And, yeah, and so we do have a patrol vessel here. Uh, it, it was damaged uh, uh, as a result of Hurricane Dorian. Uh, we, we got it up and running, and so, you know, uh, we will be doing some uh, patrols as best as possible, weather permitting, of course. You know, we try to get out uh, when we can. Right. Wow. Well, listen, I've always been uh, an advocate for and a supporter of the Bahamas National Trust for many, many years. It's very important. And that's one thing that Bahamians have to know, because sometimes I get a bit pissed at Bahamians when you see litter on the side of the road and, yeah. and just stuff on the beach and they leave their stuff. But not ju just people, because, you know, it's all over the world. But man, especially us Bahamians in the Bahamas, this is a small, you know, country and we have the most beautiful places and people from, you know, as you'll see traveling throughout, because Abaco is jam-packed and I already think we're going to be doing a lot more, uh, you know, going all over. Uh, you know, to all the, the keys. We're going to go to, as you say, Green Turtle. We're going over to Iguana. We're going over to Hopetown. So there's a lot 
in this show. So it's very important to, you know, to help the Bahamas National Trust by not littering and not polluting, not making it, you know, difficult. So you make sure your life a little easier so you all can concentrate on the, the science part. Yes, and so we, you know, we, we uh, tried to uh, uh, get Bahamians to understand that these protected areas, these national parks that we manage and the other protected areas, uh, you know, that it's theirs. You know, this, 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 this country that we live in is theirs. And so, you know, Bahamians need to be more involved, you know, and, and being good stewards of their environment. You know, yeah. uh, looking, I mean, litter is only one of it, you know, one, one of the things. But, you know, we want, we want persons to appreciate what we have here in this country called the Bahamas. Yeah. You know, and so um, we ask that they get involved. Bahamas National Trust is a non-profit organization, a non-government. We were created by an act of parliament to manage national parks in the country. And our second mandate is to advise government on environmental concerns and to address any environmental and conservation issues throughout the length and breadth of the Bahamas. Okay. All right, very good. Well, David, you all, you all have your, your, uh, your hands full, uh, you know, your job cut out for you, but it's very important. So uh, when you guys, you know, like you Bahamians, you can travel throughout all the out island stuff, you know, and as you go, please, you know, be uh, uh, appreciative and uh, be careful with what you're doing out in all the out islands. So, David, thank you so much. Yeah. And, uh, you know, from here we go on now. We go on to you more. On? Yeah, we go on to more. All Neem, right. we go on all over the place. Well, we got so great. much. That's great. You know, you know, hit all of the beautiful spots we have here in the Abacos. You know, um, uh, the visitors does. You know, they, they, they know how to, how, to, how to really enjoy what we have here. And so, you know, I hope we do the same. Oh, yeah, no. Been here many times. I will. I will. All right, more Charlie Bahama right after this. If you want more Charlie Bahama, go to any of our social media pages or subscribe to the Charlie Bahama YouTube page.